Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me video using some ephemera. I haven't done this in a while and I thought it would be fun for Valentine's Day to go ahead and switch it around. So I'm going to the wig that we're gonna be on and I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of some of the pieces that it brings. I got this one at an Etsy shop called Daisy Grey Pretties. I really love that Etsy shop because they have a lot of great stuff that I may not find in my local um, craft stores. So here are the pieces, they're really pretty. So here is the washi tape that I picked out for this week. I try to find something that kind of match the whole colors, but I didn't want to overdo it because I know there's a lot of die cuts in the package. So, And I took out my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna wash you away. So I decided to place some washi right where the headers go. I've been wanting to use this washi tape. You guys have probably seen it in a couple of my videos. I usually take it out and I never use it. So I was really excited that I finally did. I really like skinny washi tape. So I love that I get to use this one for this week. And I'm also adding this little hearts one. And as you guys can tell, I already placed a stripe one on the bottom. So after I was done with the washi, I decided to go ahead and start placing my die cuts around my week and trying to see what looks better to my eye. I really love these colors. I, I'm really happy that they're not necessarily just red. They have some yellows and some mint and pink and every single color out there. The name of the collection or the name of these die cuts, I will either have them here on the screen or on the down bar. Um, I'm gonna blame it on my pregnancy brain, but every single time that I do a voiceover, I forget where I get my stuff. I'm sorry guys. Anyways, just placing around trying to see what looks better and yeah. So if you guys are watching this video on Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. I wanted this video to come out on Sunday, but then I thought that it would be better to have it by Valentine's Day just to switch it around until you guys can have something to see from Valentine's Day. I really hope that your day goes well. I already went out with my husband and had a really great time. So yeah. We actually decided that it would be a great idea to go out the day before Valentine's Day just because everything goes really crazy on valentine's day and since i'm pregnant i don't want to be like on cluttered places full of people and stuff like that and it was actually a really great idea we went out to the movies and it was not full of people at all so it was so much better anyways in here i'm finishing up just placing everything how i like it i like the xoxo in the middle it looks very nice and i'm still trying to leave some space to put my to-dos for the week because I still have a ton tons of things to do for this week. After I liked how everything looked, I decided to go ahead and glue everything down with my Tumbo Mono Adhesive. I really swear by this tape. I've told you guys a million times, it's the best thing ever. And if you don't like something, you can peel it off right away and it won't damage your pages or anything like that. Now this process is really long, but it's it was really, um therapeutic to go ahead and do this so I, I strongly recommend it now for the thinner pieces i decided to go ahead and use some glue that i have laying around i showed you guys this in one of my haul videos a while ago and yeah it's really great i will put the name down below as well so in here i'm showing you guys a couple of stickers from the happy planner that i will be using because why not i love all the happy planner sticker books i'm placing some to do's for the week and I don't know, just marking a couple of things that I want to get done for the week. I did have to trim a little bit of a piece from the checklist just because it was kind of overlapping with the bottom words that I had, but it was okay. And in here I'm adding a little date night sticker because I went out with my husband on this Monday and just adding weekend stickers which i really love that this happy planner sticker brings weekend stickers because sometimes the stickers that i have do not match at all also i'm marking that thursday it's my laundry day because i kind of pick it out that doesn't happen every single time sometimes i do my laundry earlier in the week 
but I either put a bigger sticker to cover it up or I try to take it out and switch it around. I'm also marking that on Wednesday I have a doctor's appointment, which is really scary because every time I go to the doctor, it seems like my next appointment is really far away. And then that month passes by so quick. And oh my god, I just I can't believe I'm already six months pregnant. I can't. And I'm also marking that I'm going to church on Sunday and also that I want to upload my videos and what I want to record, which it does not happen all the time. Also adding another couple of checklists here and there and I decided to go ahead and get a scale sticker because I really want to keep track of my weight and I actually do this every single time I go to the doctor. I also added a binge watch sticker, I hope I'm saying that right, um, because I want to look for a series that I could watch on Netflix. So if you guys have anything you can recommend to me, go ahead and say it in the comment box down below. So I decided to do some stamping. I haven't done this in a while and I really enjoy stamping. Now I have this stamp that it's like a recording stamp and I don't want to be wasting all my stickers because I don't have that many. And in here, I'm trying out this ink for the first time. I haven't used it and I actually didn't like it. So I decided to try it on a paper, which I really recommend this to you guys so you won't damage your spread and then you'll get mad about it. And I decided to go ahead and use my other um, ink, which I will put the name in here. Uh, I think it's Memento. It's great and I really liked it. I tested it and then I went ahead and I put it on the days that I want to record or I'll upload or anything like that the thing I love ab about stamping is that once you stamp once you just want to stamp away but one thing that I don't like is that you have to clean your stamps and also that is really time-consuming but I really enjoy this I actually wanted to do a spread where I only did stamping but since I didn't have enough stamps I didn't do it so hopefully I'll do this in the future because I really enjoy it now it's time to do some writing so I decided to grab three different pens just to do my writing for this week because I wanted to make it colorful or at least match some of the colors from here. Now I decided to get my Erin Condren, um, it's not called a pen, I don't know how it's called. I've been having it forever. I have this Stedler pen which I really really love and also I grabbed my Sharpie pen. So I've heard some other planner friends say that Sharpie pens are great for glossy stickers and I actually didn't test this before and I did and oh my god it's it's great I should have done it before. Anyways I'm just doing some writing but I'm almost done with my spread for this week. A lot of stuff gets written as the week goes by because I actually forget a lot of things and some things come along the way but either way I like my white space on my planning, so it's okay. So that it's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!